What's up guys? Welcome back to another Talk Tours. This time, brought back my boy, DJ Speedy. What up, what up? <laughs> and you guys know you my son. Kid. You guys oh, yeah. know my son, Mike, yeah. in the back. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry. Oh, I can't even hear you back in. <laughs> sorry. Oh, okay. there you go. That's better. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna hit up uh, Berlin Game, which is close to, or next to Redwood City. Not really. really. Yeah, it's next to it. Oh, it's not. Isn't it? No, yeah, it's, it's a good. You got San Francisco before, and you got San Bruno. It's <laughs> right next to San Francisco Airport. Yeah, there you go. Where I live. Where I live. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna hit up some delicious spots. This guy doesn't know his beer. I, I don't know, man. <laughs> so I got you, remember? <laughs> we're gonna get into this place. The first place is called Tacos al Vapor. Uh, vapor. What does that vapor mean? Uh, basically, this spot they don't they don't heat up your uh, tortillas like on the comal. They just use hot water and the steam. Ah, so it's just it literally out. vapor. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. vapor. Yeah, uh, that's yeah. cool. Different different style, I guess. And yeah, we're pretty hungry. I'm pretty hungry. Are you pretty hungry, Mike? I'm alright, but once I see those tacos, no. I'll yeah. get into the mood. You want to see the good? You want to see the goods? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right. Let's get to it. Let's go. All right, so we're at first location, which is Así se come taquería in Berlin Game, which is right next to the airport. You yeah. said, yeah. And right next yeah, to the water. Yeah, it's not next to Redwood City. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, I think I think I think we already went through that. <laughs> so, we established that. <laughs> we established that already. So we got the taco de asada and taco de pollito, mm -hmm. which is chicken asada. You already know steak. Yeah. And so what do yeah, we? So right away we got a comment on the the presentation. Right. So take a look at this one, and then show them that other one. Right there. Look how nice that one looks, right? Well, I was like, how do you, how do you make one like this, and then you make another one that looks hella good? I don't, I don't understand that. And this one has salsa. All the other ones don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mine. I don't know what happened. They forgot the salsa. <laughs> um, the tortillas are two white corn, a little toasty, and. I have a little bit of radish. That's it, what right? What do you think about the size? Is there actually uh This one has a good portion of meat. Mm, yeah, you know. this is pretty, pretty good. Mm. But this, yeah. I actually prefer this size of tacos. I find. Yeah. I don't like, like them like too, I like them, too big. I like, them, I like them that size too. Mm. Like the one that we ate in Hayward, remember? Yeah, I feel the, like these are the, the perfect size. That was a good size. For my small Asian hands, <laughs> you can't really hold too much. <laughs> so, which one first? Chicken? Chicken. All right. Well, I have no choice because the other one's buried underneath. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, wow. All right. All right. All right. All right. Cheers. 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 Flavor's not bad. Yeah. What do you think of the tortillas? The tortillas are not bad too, but what I right away what I get is that it's a little too dry. Yeah. It needs a little more moisture. Maybe they should have added a little more salsa, you know? Yeah. Or some salsa. Or mm -hmm. my face. Or some or any salsa. <laughs> <laughs> would be great. <laughs> but the flavor is good. It's actually probably better than most chicken places that I tried. Yeah, yeah I was about to say. Yeah. I'm not a fan of like chicken but this one has some flavor to it because mm -hmm. the other places that we hit up it's they do chicken it's usually like shredded and wet and this one's grilled mm -hmm. chopped up finely yeah i'm, I'm digging it mm -hmm. i wish some the limes weren't like super dry <laughs> because nothing came out of them i was gonna say <laughs> they're from like a couple days ago <laughs> good flavor i like the size of the portion of like how they well, not the portion, but how they cut the chicken. Mm -hmm. A lot of the uh, other spots I've seen, they have like bigger 
requires of the chicken when they mm. chop them up. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even the, the, the tortilla thing is not bad. I mean, it's a little toasted on the grill or whatever, and a little bit of oil, I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure. I mean, we've definitely had worse yeah. as far as tortillas go, right? Definitely. Maybe it's a little bit dry because chicken itself is always a little bit dry meat. Yeah, but we've already seen the, the, the yeah. Too, though, right? yeah, so it's harder. Like, yeah, maybe that's their thing. They like it dry. Mm -hmm. Who knows? I like my tacos nice and wet. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds good saying, you know? <laughs> And so literally that's... nothing came out of this thing. <laughs> 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 gotta show the camera. <laughs> <laughs> one oh, drop. There you go. One, yeah, one drop. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, the limes are no good. Yeah. The asada has uh, cilantro cebolla and has like a green sauce, mm -hmm. right? So let's check that one out. Here we go. Asada. Vamos. I like it. This reminds me of the taqueria that I that I'm used to going to in the east side, mm -hmm. Imperio. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Speedy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this guy can't even wait for his turn. <laughs> Clearly asking Speedy over here. Right. He just chimes in. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Speedy? Good. What's that? <laughs> no, I like him when they have like that little extra oil on it. Mm-hmm. And. It's not as dry as the chicken. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> what I could tell, well, like like I was saying, I think the cuts might be a little different. That's mm -hmm. why it's had like that texture that I get from Imperio mm Bacaria. -hmm. It's that kind of texture that it's not like very firm mm -hmm. in a way. It's like a different part of the cow. You know, I don't mm -hmm. know what part, but it's a nice uh, soft kind of texture, which I like. What do you think, Mike? I think this place is decent. No, it's not. Um, I wouldn't say it's a home run, but if someone brought me these tacos, I wouldn't be hating on them. Yeah. I'd be happy to have them. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I but think they're like the perfect size. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, I like the size of them. Yeah. It's just you know the dry limes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the inconsistency in the way it was packaged. I don't know. Do you think? I mean, do you think that says something about the amount of effort they put in, or? Or is it, or do you just customers just don't even care about that? Yeah, they they also mentioned that they they sell mostly burritos. Yeah, not a lot of tacos, mm. but still, you know, I think you still want to have yeah the presentation at least. I mean, like I told Mike before, nosotros mexicanos, us Mexicans, we we don't really care too much about the presentation. Yeah, but it's also hard not to notice it, right? If it's not done were great you're gonna be like you're gonna think about it and you're like, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was it's kind of messy it wasn't that great yeah, at least be consistent like if you have three of the same orders that are exactly the same just make sure they look exactly the same yeah <laughs> yeah make sure yeah. they all have sauce or yeah <laughs> they all don't have sauce with yeah. sauce on the side <laughs> well, that's it. That was, you know, i'm not disappointed with that at all I'm not blown away. If you guys but... come, just bring your own lime. <laughs> <laughs> or, your, or your own salsa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Flavor's good. I mean, hey, it could be worse, right? Yeah. No, we've uh, had worse. Yeah. One truck in uh, yeah. <laughs> the San Mateo? Uh, I think so. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not... And we got chicken there, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And they, they actually kind of look good, remember? We're like, all right, this, this has got to be good. Like yellow corn and everything yeah. like all right this is gonna be good and nope no. <laughs> they were like, stingy with the meat too yeah no. so was... this place you know they weren't stingy with the meat mm -hmm. oh were they generous uh, that's i would say that's relative because yeah. it was literally different between each of our yeah. orders how yeah. much meat was in there mm -hmm. we came and we conquered now yeah at least we got to Así see se come is that the name <laughs> yeah. yeah eat tacos by the water here yeah. Así se, oh, and Así se come means that's how you eat tacos how you eat. 
Really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the name of it. Well, if you, that's the name of your place, then you really gotta be doing a better job. <laughs> yeah. That, then, right? yeah. Come tacos. Right. So basically, this is how we eat tacos. That's what yeah. we did right now. That's the name of it. <laughs> yeah. In a way. But maybe that's how they eat tacos. You know? Yeah. That's what yeah. they're experiencing, right? Uh -huh. Maybe that's what they like. That's for style, yeah. They like a different you know, amount of meat in each yeah. taco. <laughs> it's surprised whether there's salsa. On maybe the taco maybe or not. it's not about consistency with them. It's about hit and miss. Like, you want to have a surprise. See, there yeah. you go, Mr. Politician again. <laughs> maybe in the next time we'll have a lot of meat, and yeah. maybe the other time we will have no meat. That's like yeah. the lottery, huh? Like yeah, it's like, oh, who knows? Salsa, 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 salsa. <laughs> yeah. Be like, meaty, meaty, mighty, catch. It's like a surprise box. You don't know what you're going to get. <laughs> salsa, no salsa, you know? <laughs> it's actually kind of exciting, right? You're like, you should, we, next time we should be like, all right, who gets what? Yeah. Like, you want to pick this one or what? <laughs> Out to the next spot. <laughs> Vamos, vamos. We are at the second spot and we came to Tacos al Vapor in Burlingame. Now, first impression this spot is really nice, really cool. P nice people, nice ladies, very friendly, very um, useful, yeah. you know, with a lot of information. And what else do you want? I mean, you have handmade tortillas. That's already a big plus. Never right? go wrong with that. Good vibes overall at the spot. Mm -hmm. uh, got some cabeza and carnitas. Mm -hmm. And we got three different salsitas. So we got a green one. We got a morcajete style. La morcajete. And red, I guess. Yeah. So Dude, they're not stingy with anything. Mm -hmm. too. No. Nah, looks... Not with the meat, not with the veggies. Yeah. It looks nice. And the perfect size, you know, tacos that we all talk about. Yeah. The tortillas. And it, I love the color, like on the, mm. the tortilla, it's really nice. Mm. The lime actually looks like it has juice. Yeah. <laughs> the first spot. Looks like real lime. Big <laughs> old carrots. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so far without taking any bites, it's already a positive experience, yeah. right? Definitely. I right, so which one you guys want to try first? So, I got to try the lime first. Green on carnitas, <laughs> right? Yeah. Green carnitas. Okay. okay. Oh, that's what the that's the thing there. They were saying which uh, salsa actually you want better with each yeah, with one meat, yeah. Yeah. So green. Then again, al vapor are their uh, Michoacan style tacos. Mm -hmm. so. What are you saying? What's special about these? Uh, what are you saying about these tortillas that they 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 steam them? Yeah, them? so they're handmade, but they don't throw them on the on the um, comal. Mm -hmm. They just steam them with a uh, just vapor. They put hot water and then they put them on top and then that's how they kind of mm -hmm. look cool. cool. Yeah. Is that a... Have you ever heard of other people doing that or...? I, I don't see a no. lot of people doing that to be mm -hmm. honest. I put that one on cabeza. I don't know. It's like a Michoacan tradition. A state from Mexico. Mm. What was the... Oh, they don't... They didn't see what state uh, specifically. Uh, yeah, the state is Michoacan and I think oh, I mean, the, uh, the city, city was um, Nueva Italia. Oh, that's right, yeah. So the, New Italy. So, Los Originarios son de Nueva Italia. Yes. That's the city in Michoacán. Yeah. All right. So, we're doing carnitas first? Uh, yeah. Which ones? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's fine. There's juice in these limes. Right. Yes. Carnitas. Carnitas, which is pork, fried in lard. Mm -hmm. Vamos. Mmm. 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 It's interesting. It's, just, it's only got the one tortilla, but mm -hmm. it's holding together really well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Considering it was um, essentially it's steamed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's the tortilla is not, you know, falling apart. Wow, this level of crispiness is unique. It's like it's like a perfect balance of crispiness mm -hmm. and tenderness in, mm -hmm. the, in the carnitas. Damn, that's solid. Yep, 
surprised how good the tortilla is holding up for being mm -hmm. this thin. Mm -hmm. They must have like a special ingredient too, like when they do the masa for the... Mm -hmm. They also have pickled jalapenos and pickled carrots. Mm. I think that special ingredient is love. Definitely love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. That's probably one of my favorite spots already. Good quality. And, and it's only two bucks per taco too. Oh, yeah. I mean, the price is unbelievable, honestly. Really? For what you're getting? Yeah, I was actually wondering when I was ordering them, they're like, yeah, it's 12 bucks. I'm like, what? <laughs> really? 12 bucks for six? Yeah. Bad. Usually I'm used to paying like 15, 16, almost 20 bucks. And that's for like just me and Mike. <laughs> mm. Not even another person included. Very, very good. I mean, Quality's there, service is there. So far, Carnitas is a home run for me. This area is, I mean, there's parking. It's not as bad as San Bruno was. So you can find parking around here, I'm pretty sure. Well, it seems like they get a lot of uh, call and orders. Yeah. Mm -hmm. too, so yeah. I don't think parking should be, a, even if the parking's a problem, you probably just call in your order. Mm -hmm. Just pick it up. Mm. Exactly. All right. All right. Cabeza's next? Cabeza, which is head. Head? Yeah. Brains? Almost. Brains? No. no it's I, don't, cheek. Huh? I don't think they put brains. I no, think it's, it's like cheek. the cheek, cheek and like cheek. other, yeah, the muscles of it. The Asian guy knows. <laughs> the Mexicans don't even know. <laughs> no, because, no, because it's headed right outside the truck. <laughs> and an English translation for everything. It's got a piece of me there. No, but that's something we talked about before too, by the Yeah. Mmm. Fire. Yeah. Man, this just became my favorite taco spot. <laughs> I can't believe it. This guy says that he always passes by here and he never mm -hmm. stopped by. And he lives pretty pretty close. <laughs> what does that say? Try new new places more often. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> right? It's so good. It's like butter. I was gonna yeah, use some. It's probably better that. than butter. <laughs> God damn, those are like... Yeah, at the end of the video, it's gonna be R.I.P. <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. Damn. Honestly, one, two of the best tacos I've tried in this whole series, for sure. Yeah. It's up there. Yeah. Damn. See, the, the first thing made for tea is really making that from some... <laughs> yeah. I'm such a huge... And, and vapor is, it's also just a whole different thing. Like, how can we compare that to like, something like a tortilla handmade but on the grill right or on the yeah. comal mm -hmm. like how can you even compare that it's it's pretty it's pretty similar but i mean these were thinner you know that's what kind of st strike me as different like there's they're thinner and they hold a lot a, a lot of meat you know mm -hmm. like, uh, overall the texture of the tortilla is more consistent because it's yeah. cooked mm -hmm. and the vapor was you you put on on the grill some parts are a little bit, you know, more charred. Other parts are a little mm -hmm. bit softer. Yeah. But here, the, consist the consistency is consistent. Yeah. I already said the word. Damn it! Yeah. <laughs> Stop. Oh, Consist what do I do? <laughs> consistency was consistent. <laughs> oh, I gotta get kicked off the show now. <laughs> and they also do like catering and any of that stuff. So. I highly recommend if you want some bomb ass tacos. Yeah. Without a doubt. Hit them up. <laughs> it's a no-brainer. Yeah. So they have three spots. She said Milbray here in Burlingame and San Mateo. Mm -hmm. I think that the other spots are restaurants, I think. Yeah. But this, I don't know. This is the only truck they have. But... Good stuff. Ooh. Let's keep going. One last one. See you in a bit. So we are at the third location at Gabriel and Daniel's I just said it, dude. <laughs> I know. You already forgot. I forgot. <laughs> oh my God. It's all too much so, weed. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the asada and vegetarian taco, which is like ah. a... It looks like kind of fried a bit. Yeah, why don't you tell them why you wanted to try this place out? I wanted to try it because it looks different and they add like these designs on the tacos with the sour cream so I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah I don't know what kind of design is this one? What do you think that one is? Mm. Oh, I don't know if people can see that. Uh, it's kind of like peacock. 
Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so there you go. Okay, it's a peacock. I think those are flowers. We got the flowers. Is it daisies, lilies? <laughs> so this is a uh, vegetarian? Yeah, this one's vegetarian. So which one do you want to try first? Oh, by first? the way, the this... limes look super fresh. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're super juicy. <laughs> yeah. I like uh, the other place. What was that? What's the name? I already forgot the name of the first spot. Asi comemos. Asi comemos. Uh, yeah. This is how we eat tacos. Yeah, you guys gotta get some newer lives. Man. <laughs> yeah. So let's start with the salad, no? Because we don't yeah. want to eat some cold meat. It has uh, like a red sauce, I think. It has cheese on it. Cheese on it, green salsa, cebolla, cilantro, and grilled uh, onions. Grilled onions, yeah. Oh, so funny. The cheese blends in so well with the tortilla. Yeah, I know. Notice. Can't even tell. Oh. Cheers. That's pretty good. Of course, we, we could eat it when it's nice and hot, but... Yeah. Besides that, it's not bad. I don't know, man. It tastes a little too the, hot. The salsa kind of tastes a little bit like that. It's almost a little bit like pizza sauce. Yeah. Mm. So I kind of taste that on the top right now. Yeah, the sauce is a, a bit different. It's like a paste, no? What did you say? Actually, Call even um, the meat's a little rubbery. I don't know about yours, but mine. Yeah. It's a little, it's a little too chewy, actually. I don't mind the cheese. I don't mind the I don't mind the texture of the meat, but the sauce is what, what's unique for me. It doesn't the sauce throws it off? Yeah, it's not like a traditional sauce that you would see in the taco. Well, you don't care about that, right? Does that have to be traditional for you? Mm. Well, for me, I guess I'm a traditionalist. Mm. So I believe Trump can make America great again. Trump Nation. Here we go. <laughs> you know Trump's love the Mexicans and tacos, right? <laughs> Here we go. Alright, he won't be in the next episode, guys. Right? Don't, don't worry. I'm replacing him. I think it's a good taco. It's different. So. What do you think, Speedy? Speedy, huh? <laughs> what that's that sad. What, what do that you mean? think, Speedy? What does that mean? <laughs> It means that I've asked Speedy, I want to hear his thing and not you just chiming in. <laughs> not the best I've had. Would you agree that it tastes kind of like yeah. pizza sauce? Yeah. Just throwing it off? It's like tomato paste. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I think the cheese definitely helps in terms of the flavor. Okay. Mm, tortilla, tortilla's alright, you know, it's not soggy, it's not holding up. Mm. But it's just it's hard to have these kind of tortillas after you have those freshly yeah. cooked ones. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So there's such a contrast. You know? It's hard to compare it. Yeah. I think it's they dip this tortilla in oil and then throw it in. Mm. It's kind of like I don't think it's crunchy. Or maybe this, this one, I don't know. Yeah. Let's try the vegetarian one with the little design. So what's in that vegetarian one? Oh, it's pretty good. Uh, mushroom, lettuce, grilled onions, looks like some guac, and like some jalapenos or some kind of green chili. I think that's pretty good. If you want to just eat vegetarian. And I'm not a big sour cream guy. So the fact that they only added that much sour cream, I love it. Why aren't you big on sour cream? I feel like it, it masks all the great flavors, flavors. From, mm. from like the salad and all that. It just over, overwhelms it too much. So for you fly eat out, you fly eaters out there, it's like putting a bunch of hoisin on your fly. Yep, you like doing that too. I don't. I don't put hoisin on my <laughs> Actually, fly. Actually, no, no, you don't. You, you dip it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I dip the meat, that's it. I don't put it in the broth. Mm -hmm. You gotta give, you know, the meal a chance to show you what it's got. Mm. I like it. I've never had a vegetarian taco, but it's not bad. Yeah, I never knew such a thing existed. Right? <laughs>
<laughs> Why would you want to make that? <laughs> Out of all the things. Yeah. That's good. It's almost the mushroom gives it that texture like you're eating your body mm -hmm. into meat, you know? Mm -hmm. I think they're good tacos. I mean, not spectacular, but they're good tacos. And at least they have fresh limes. <laughs> Presentation overall was mm -hmm. the best out of all of them. Yeah, presentation for sure. So maybe it's a good spot for a vegetarian. Do you want to come in and have tacos? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you vegetarians don't need to suffer any longer. Yeah. <laughs> You're missing out on tacos, or this is the spot for you. <laughs> and what is it called again? Uh, Gabriel and Dad. Oh, he remembered. <laughs> he remembered. I was waiting for you to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I got this. <laughs> well, yeah. I think that was pretty good. I mean, overall. Yeah, you know, if you're, if you're out here, you know, especially playing if you're gonna, soccer or hitting, especially if you're gonna hit some golf balls. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not like you want to go somewhere else. Balls you're and tacos. Here. Yeah, exactly. He doesn't want that. He <laughs> doesn't want that. Hitting tacos and balls in your mouth. I, I mean, the other <laughs> way around. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm here, folks. That's uh, why I'm here. I'm here to lower the level. <laughs> lower the quality of the yeah. level, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good work. Alright, it's time How was the price on this one? I don't know. I haven't even paid for it yet. No? Yeah. No. Every spot, I think it was... Uh, mm -hmm. um, Cabeza was definitely the perfect taco of the whole day today. Second spot would be this vegetarian taco. Actually, the expectations of it better than I expected. Actually, even better than the asada. Yeah. And last would be Así comemos you know, Go there, we bring your own limes, bring your own <laughs> salsa. <laughs> you should be good. Yeah, bring your own tacos. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's just my opinion. Like. <laughs> Like I said, the top spot, that's easy. Is, uh, what is it called again? Something? I mean, they, they had everything, you know, from great customer service, great attitude, to great food, um, great spot, uh, plenty of street parking available, and even if there's no street parking available, you can call and you order, and the tacos were top notch. The Cadessa was definitely my top taco of the day yeah. as well. Um, second place, it's a little bit harder for me because. Um, well, I enjoyed the vegetarian taco here a lot. What was the other one we had here? Asada. That one I really didn't like at all. Uh, at least the first spot we had, the flavor of the tacos were okay. They were just dry. There's no line. So it, it, God, it's a toss-up. But if I had to choose between this spot and that first spot, which name I can't even pronounce. No, that's the second oh, spot. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to tell me you, you got the name. The spot. Uh, Así comemos. Así, Así comemos tacos. Taqueria. What does comemos. that mean? Oh, this the, is how you eat tacos. Yeah. Well, but no. I guess I don't like the way they eat tacos. <laughs> <laughs> so second, I guess second place would have to be this spot. I'll just order the vegetarian taco. Yeah. And enjoy the nice, you know, breeze. <laughs> cool. And uh, hit some balls. <laughs> Alright, I'll start with the first, the best, my favorite taco. I will have to say it was the carnitas at that Salvador. I think the texture combination with how tender the meat was and the tortilla, it's handmade, it was honestly like perfect tortilla almost, I think. So, <laughs> so I think that was, uh, yeah, fire. Uh, his favorite place? Come on. Spencer likes to try to build the potential. <laughs> Why do you have to give it away? <laughs> well, no potential. Look at that. Yeah, you guys are really waiting. What is this? Yeah. 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 I think all those things already here too. So, I mean, yeah, you have everything here. And, yeah. I don't know, nothing else to add. 
think it's perfect. So we're all in agreement about the top spot. Yeah. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Look at that presentation over there. I just got something a little extra, courtesy. <laughs> You might have to move this first place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I take back whatever I said about this place. That was bad. It's all good now. That's so cool. Is that the He has the actual peacock there. <laughs> you, oh, so, do you think this a is a peacock or do you think there's a sunset? <laughs> like, that's the sun right there. What do you think? Yeah. I think it's the sun, right? Like Does that the, say hope? Hope. Uh, you guys think this is a peacock or a sunset? All the down below. I think it's a sunset. Yeah. Definitely not a piece of pop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah. <laughs> Alright, let's try it out. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so just forget about everything we said about <laughs> yeah, yeah. it. You know. And this place is the best. <laughs> it really will be like a pizza. Yeah. It is. It is. Uh, but you know what? Thanks for hooking it up anyway. Uh, it's mm -hmm. Very much appreciated. Yeah, I think it's chicken. It's definitely the same sauce. It's good. I mean, I think that sauce. I don't know. It's it, different out here. If they didn't have that red sauce, I think it'd be a lot better. I mean, I mean, I think it's kind of the same, but there really is a difference when you go to a place that's more gentrified, yeah, more whitewashed up flavors and yeah. ways. Kind of like this. I mean, whereas you know, we we get up on top of and buy the apartment complex, buy an auto shop, buy other things, a lot more authentic. Yeah. I mean, we are at a, at a golf center, right? So, uh, I think they're probably catering their dishes according to the people who are frequenting yeah. mm -hmm. more. Yeah. So, that was pretty good. A little bit of rice in there, too. Mm. I just got a memory flashback with this sauce. Have you guys ever had a uh, web burrito? Yeah. Mm. Kind of spread that yeah. sauce into it. Mm. The red one or the green one? The red one. Mm. Kind of. I'm, 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 I'm that. never really like the red sauce, so I'm more of a green sauce. The green sauce is pretty good here. I mean, you gotta give up an A plus just for effort. I mean, the amount of work it takes to do that kind of presentation, right? Yeah. yeah I didn't do that a time ago. <laughs> but then again, we're not reviewing museums here, right? We're reviewing yeah. <laughs> I mean, Gotta keep it real. Yeah. So here, <laughs> for low bar, sex jokes. <laughs> keeping it real with the tacos. <laughs> Alright, what were we talking about the verdict? Well, I guess, I mean, to me it doesn't really change the verdict. But, you know, they definitely get extra points just for good customer yeah. service. Mm -hmm. Alright, so... That concludes today's episode in Berlin Game. Um, anything else you want to plug, Speedy? Yep, just check me out at DJ Speedy Four Eight on Instagram, and if you guys want to listen to some mixes, uh, check out the Palito Mix on Instagram. Yeah. Find touch? all the links. Oh yeah, I'm DJing. Um, Dude, this guy was just telling all Twitch. us about his Twitch channel for like ten minutes, and he's still on Twitch. Yeah, um, Twitch.tv forward slash the Paletero Mix, and I'm there uh, four times a week DJing live. Uh, not with DJ Live, but DJing live. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Check him out. Cool. Then you can follow Mike. Yeah, Mike and Chris on this on YouTube. Chris with a K, K R I S. Don't spell out the hand. And then on Instagram at Mike Laguna. I'm sure he's gonna put the text in the link down in the description. I don't know, man. So don't worry about the I don't know. <laughs> I'll make them. I won't make them. I can't. This is a video. I'll ask. <laughs> All right, you can follow me at I am Vida Eats and on IG and Vida Eats on YouTube. It's probably where you're watching it, anyways. And on top of it, on top of it, the I'll be posting the instructions for the raffle very soon. So stay tuned on that on the IG page. And that's about it. Let's see where Tabat Tours takes us now. Ciao.